So even if you are not able to achieve the target dose, do we get the same benefit of army? There are some patients who may have an intolerance for sacubitril and valsartan. There could be something like a worsening EGFR. There could be symptomatic hypotension. There could be hyperkalemia or gastrointestinal symptoms. Now, sometimes we are unable to reach the target dose of 100 milligrams BID. It's okay. You can still keep the patient on a 50 milligram BID, but keep the RNA on board. Unless there's severe contraindication like severe hypotension, dizziness. But again, as I told you before, you should ensure that there is no hypotension because of dehydration and the overzealous use of diuretics. You will find that when you have guideline directed medical therapy of RNA and SGLT2 inhibitors, MRA on board, beta blockers on board, the actual use of loop diuretics and other diuretics comes down. We should ensure that that's on a minimum dose. If the patient has reached his dry weight or her dry weight, ensure that the patient maintains a weight record. So if the patient was 70 kilos before he came to you, you started your treatment, the weight has come down to around 62 kilos, you have offloaded around 8 liters of water from the body, that is your dry weight. So maintain a, a weight record for your patients see that they maintain a weight record the fluid balance on a daily basis and they report to you on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis now the benefits irrespective of the dose now participants can use a lower than target sacubitril valsartan dose and 50 milligrams bid for some patients is adequate there is no need for us to keep going to 100, 200 milligrams. Maybe the patient gets symptomatic during that 100 mg or 200 mg PID dose. Don't worry, but keep the patient on at least a 50 milligram PID dose. Now, is a new therapy like ARNI beneficial in HFREF patients with borderline systolic blood pressure? Yes, of course. So when you look at these patients, the event rate of a patient not receiving ARNI is very very high as compared to an ACE inhibitor. So if you compare head to head an ACE inhibitor and an ARNI, you will find that using an ARNI and the other three pillars of heart failure treatment, you are adding around eight years of quality free, event free cardiovascular, uh, uh, you know, event free survival for these patients for a 55 year individual. So if you are able to even give a 50 milligram BID dose for these patients, I would say go for it. Now, there are certain episodes of hypotension which could occur in these patients. But very, very rarely do you have deaths due to hypotension because of ARNI. And how do we manage a patient who has hypotension with ARNI? The first thing is correct the volume or salt depletion prior to the administration of army and start sacubitril valsartan at the lower dose. In hypovolemia patients, the dose of diuretics is likely to be down titrated, especially when you are having a very, very higher dose of diuretics to start with. So we should start down titrating your diuretics as soon as possible. In fragile patients, elderly patients, start with, um, you know, army at the lower dose because they will have a low systolic blood pressure of around 100. And in these patients, you should be very, very careful in starting an ARNI at a lower dose. And if a patient has got, you know, is naive to ACE inhibitor or ARP, again, start on a lower dose of ARNI or 50 milligram BID. Sometimes even 25 milligram BID can be started and then up titrate slowly within a week or two weeks so that you're able to reach an achievable target. And then similar to the other dose, sometimes a maximal dose of ARNI like what we are targeting 100 mg, 200 mg may not be tolerable to all patients. So we don't need to achieve all that, but at least keep a 50 milligram or a tolerable dose of ARNI on board.